What's up, y'all? Michael here with Vaxxis, and today we've got another Vaxxis slide for you. In today's episode, we'll go through how to properly update your firmware on both your Atom 500 TX and RX. Without further ado, let's learn how to update our Atom 500. Alright, so we just put up all the items you'll need in order to update your firmware on your Atom 500. If you missed it, feel free to rewind the video, grab all the required items so you can follow along. The first thing we're going to do is download the firmware onto the USB drive. You can hop on over to our website, vaxisglobal.com, download the firmware, and copy it over to your USB drive. Just a few things to keep in mind. Number one, Make sure the USB drive is completely empty with just the Atom 500 software. Number two, make sure you only have either the TX firmware or the RX firmware when you're updating each individual device. Now that we have our firmware in our USB drive, let me show you how to properly set up your update. On the Atom 500 TX, you're going to connect the Atom 500 TX to the camera via the HDMI cable and connect the HDMI loop out to an external monitor. This is important because we'll need to see the Atom 500 getting a signal before we can connect the USB drive in. Once you see the picture, go ahead and plug the USB dongle into the USB-C connector and then plug the USB drive into the dongle. Once the Atom 500 reads the file, you'll see the image change from the camera to a blue screen. This means that it's installing the firmware. Once the Atom 500 gives you a picture from the camera again, that means you're done. You can double check your firmware version by going into the submenu on the Atom 500 TX. Remember to delete the Atom 500 TX firmware before copying the Atom 500 RX firmware. To set up the Atom 500 RX, you will only need one HDMI cable from the RX to the external monitor. Turn on the Atom 500 RX, and once you see the Atom 500 RX displaying the linking sign on the top left corner of the monitor, you're ready to insert the USB dongle and the USB drive. The linking sign will disappear once the Atom 500 RX begins installing the firmware. Once installation has been completed, the linking sign will reappear, signaling upgrade has been completed. You can double check your progress by going into the submenu and navigating to the firmware version option. So that's it on upgrading your firmware on your Atom 500. As you can see, it's super easy and takes very little time. Remember to drop us a comment on what you'd like to see next and make sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all the content that we're gonna be putting out. This is Michael from Vaxxas. I'll see you on the next one.